Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to remove the shadow from a face just like that using Photoshop Elements. Okay, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and to learn a lot more about Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course. There's a link for that right down there in the description. All right, let's go back here to the original image. I'm just going to remove my fixed layer right here. Get rid of that. There we go. And the first step is make a duplicate of your background layer. So right click, duplicate layer, and choose OK. We'll be starting off with that. We'll hide the original. That's my safety, just in case, because you will be touching and working with the actual layer here. Do some retouching on it, so you want to have the original saved, just in case. Okay, first step here is to get rid of some of these little light specks. Do a basic photo retouch. And for that, I'll be using the spot healing brush right here. And find a good size. I like a size that's just a little bit larger than the spot. And then it's simply a matter of just doing little short brush strokes like that right over the spot. Sometimes you want to tap, like in the hair right down here. This is better if you just tap that. Might take a few taps to get that just right. If it's on a larger area of skin, kind of nice smooth area of skin, then a little short brush stroke frequently works out the best for this. And I need to go through and do this for all these light specks. Just clean up and soften up the skin and take your time. Now I spent about five minutes doing my original retouch on this. I'm not going to bore you with that. And I'll pause the video right here. I'll finish this process and then I'll bring the video back up again. One last little thing over here against the hair. It's best if you just tap those and try not to get into the hair because you don't want to be pulling into that hair back into the face again. So along the hair I would recommend just doing little taps like that. It's not real critical if any of those are still showing because as long as they're out of the face area, it will look just fine. Okay, so I'll go ahead now and I'll pause the video and I'll bring it back up as soon as I finish this one retouching step. Okay, there we go. It's already looking better. I can compare that before and after just taking out those light specks really improves the image. Let's now see if we can lighten up this section here. Now this is a little bit tricky and you need to analyze the picture carefully to understand where the shadowing is. I'm not going to worry about the hat or the hair. What I care about is areas like right here where the shadow line, you can really see that. There's a little bit of shadow right in here, but this is a natural shadow from the sun. So we have the shadow coming down here. So right around in here is probably that part of the shadow. And it goes across here, around the nose, and then over into here. Now here the shadow from the hat is kind of lost into the shadow just from the nose itself. But you can see a little bit right in there. It kind of falls right along there. So you need to do the best we can to try to follow that contour and not put in shadows that are from the nose, which you should have there. For this, we'll be using the polygonal lasso tool. And I have my feathering set at three just to soften the edge down a little bit. That helps. And with this tool, take your time when you're doing this. If you click in here and click too fast like that, it will collapse your range. So make sure you take your time on each one of your clicks. And this can take a little while to do this. It's not a fast process because we're doing real short little movements in here. So come in and just carefully place each point and then Photoshop Elements comes in and connects those points with a line. And you want these fairly close together along the hair. Try to work just inside the edge of the hair. So have just a little bit of hair showing there on the face side of the hair. And then take your time and work all the way around that area that we just looked at. Now because this will take a bit of time in here, I'll probably spend a minute or more doing this particular step. So I'll go ahead and just fast forward through all this stuff. And then as soon as the selection is there, we'll get back into that next bit of the discussion. So there is the selection following that shadow in there from the hat. Let's now make a new layer from this little piece. So go up here to Layer, come down to New, and then New via Copy. We now have a copy of just that part of the face on a new layer. Let's switch back to the Move tool, and we need to lighten up this part. So that's going to be an adjustment layer. Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and Levels right here where it says Use Previous Layer. Check that checkbox, choose OK. And we're working with our midtones, and that's your midtone setting right here. It's the middle gray slider. Go to the left, and it's going to lighten things up. Now try to find a spot where it's lighter. You're not going like this, not going too far. It's a bit of a juggling act, a balancing act on this. You want to go just a little bit lighter, but not too much. All these things, these settings can go 
too far. If you go too far, it's going to look bad. So you want to find just a nice setting, just a little bit lightened up in there. Now if you look at my number down here, 1 is normal, so I'm at 1.09. It's not that much of a shift. Maybe just a little bit more right there. I think that's pretty good. 117, and I think I'll leave it at that, and then just close that down. Now I've lost just a little bit of saturation in here. Notice how the flesh down here is not quite as colorful as it is right down here. We can adjust that. Layer, new adjustment layer, hue saturation. Again, check that checkbox, choose OK. We want just a little bit more saturation, not much, just a touch. Maybe right here about plus 7. If you go too far, it does that. So you don't want to have that. So just a little bit more saturation to bring back in some of that color. Maybe a plus 9. I'll leave it right there and choose OK. And we're getting pretty good. If I hide that layer, you can see there's the shadow and here's the new light image. It's already been pretty well taken care of. We can make it just a little bit better than this by blending in some of the shadows here. There'll still be a little bit of it left. We're really lightening things up. We're not removing it completely, and that's just fine. So I'll go up here, and you want to select these three layers. That's your new face layer and your adjustment layers. Now, if you want to have a backup so you can come in and make adjustments if it doesn't work out quite right, right-click on this layer and duplicate layers. Choose OK. And there's a duplicate set. Just hide that set. So we now can go back to that. Come down to this set here and select those three layers. Right click and come down to Merge Layers. That's all now merged onto one layer. Again, this is our backup up here for that. Now, same thing. We're going to be merging this into this. So I want to make a copy of this layer. Right click and Duplicate Layer. There we go. And then hide this one. That's, again, just in case this step needs to be done a little bit more. And for this kind of careful photo retouching, you want to save as many times as you need to so you can go back a few steps if you have to to continue your adjustments. Okay, so let's take this clean layer here, hold the control key down and grab that layer, right click, and we're going to merge those two layers together. We can now come into a little bit more photo retouch, try to minimize this line right over here and soften that up just a little bit. We can't do everything in here, but we can get a little bit better. So go back up here to the spot healing brush. I'm just going to brush right over that line in there. And this is going to soften that out. There we go. And that's looking a bit better. And a little bit right around the nose in here. And that's looking pretty good. Let's now back out to fit screen. There it is. So it's a little bit weird looking right over here. It's a little bit too light on that one side. We can clean that up by bringing back in a little bit of shadow. So on our repair layer up here, go up to layer mask. So you get a new layer mask. Grab your paintbrush. I have mine set at black. And it's a pretty good size brush. You can see the size of the brush right here. I have my opacity set at about halfway. And then on this layer mask, just come in and brush in right here. What I'm actually doing is I'm showing more of the lower layer in there, the shadow layer, just kind of blending that up in. And that helps to minimize that effect. So there we go. There is our before with that really bad shadow. And here's a nice lightened up look. Okay, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And check out my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. There's a link for that right down there in the description.